Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at Cardano and it entering the ADA BTC buy zone for the first time in some while. So make sure you've hit the like button already, it does go a long way. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and find value from it. Hit the bell notification icon and all. Don't forget there's a special on the Investor Accelerator, link to that is down below. And of course, Twitter and Instagram for daily updates. Now as ADA fans on this video, I'm sure you want to be earning some passive income on your Cardano. Make sure you check out the link down below to earn passive income on your ADA. All the details are down below along with tutorials on how to delegate your ADA to earn between 5 and 5.5% 5 .5 per annum on your ADA. Everything is down below, so check that out. Let's look at the videos that I've been talking about previously. Cardano jumps 30% uh, market bets on ADA. So this was the time where market was looking at Cardano falling and not making it to the smart contracts by the 1st of October. Now, we'll look at that because the market has closed in a little more. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this is it right here. Will Cardano support smart contracts on mainnet by October 1st? That video we were looking at it was around the 29th of July and it was at 54 cents to saying no, we won't be getting to mainnet by October 1st. Since then, we've had a huge blowout to 62 cents, meaning uh, if you bought, if you if you went on the fact that no, they won't get it, you would then get 38 cents for your win. But we have closed the gap. We are now at 52 and 48. We haven't crossed since uh, a couple of weeks ago in the tw on the 22nd of July. So that is the only time where w the market was thinking, yes, we would make it to mainnet by October 1st. So this is just something fun to keep an eye on to see whether the market is correct and what the market is thinking. Maybe they've done all of the collective research and we just have to keep following this chart. Or maybe they don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's pretty much YouTube, right? Who knows what the hell they're talking about? So that was the, the video here. And then previous to that was a couple of days earlier, looking at Cardano starting to recover against its Bitcoin value. But before I get to that, let's just have a quick recap. We're at a one point, call it $6 trillion market cap. BTC is at 39,000 at the moment, just having a little bit of a slide over the last couple of hours. Cardano is also just holding reasonably steady, $1.30. Last night I put out, uh, support and resistance bounce on ADA versus BTC. That's what we want to see. That's why we're looking at this, the buy zone that I've got here for ADA to be able to convert some of this Bitcoin into ADA. Remember, we've been looking at just buying Bitcoin and for the majority of the market, they think that's crazy and they want to be gambling on different altcoins, not understanding what the charts are showing them. So happy to see you guys here and also reading your comments now that you're getting the, the fact that Bitcoin does lead the charge. And Bitcoin is having a bit of a pullback now, especially as Ethereum begins to rise. Looking at ADA, ADA's dominance, it has also been falling. So we want to be buying our alts when they're either at their bottoms and beginning to turn and go back up. Or if you've got a dollar cost averaging plan, then maybe you're looking for particular zones to be buying that altcoin in as opposed to every single dip because you'll basically run out of money when you're trying to buy every single dip. So the ADA dominance is down to 2.6. We were at a top of 3.5%. This is the overall market caps and how much of that market cap share a particular crypto takes up. And uh, ADA has been taking up only 2.67% of the overall market cap. So it hasn't come back yet, whereas Ethereum has been leading the charge. And I suspect maybe some of that will start to flow down to some of the other altcoins. Now, if we use our 50% and drag it up to our most recent major low, we've bounced on 50%, which is at 2.62. So we're just trading above that. Doesn't mean that this is the low, but it also represents a reasonable buying opportunity because as with everything in investing, there is no guarantees. Fundamentalists will probably tell you that there is guarantees, but at the end of the day, there is nothing. There's nothing to tell you that 100% this will work out. All we can do is how we react what we can do is how we react to situations and I'm not buying the tops. I want to be buying levels that I see good support on and potential of a reversal. And so one of those is a 50%. If we use the entire range, then that brings us back to around 1.95%. So I've hit one of those ranges. Good sign. On our dollar value, let's use some color here on our candles. We also weren't buying the tops 
we were selling the tops. There are receipts on the channel. We were buying the breakouts, receipts on the channel. And then I also had a couple of, I had a video here talking about that this could be an intermediate top at around, I think it was the 17th or 18th of May. Again, as I said, receipts are on the channel. Now, we didn't buy the dollar low. We didn't buy the other uh, low at 99 cents. We didn't buy this low. Well, I didn't anyway, at a dollar. But now I'm seeing it at around $1.30. I don't know if this is going to be the, the lowest point that we ever see. We never see $1.30 again. That's the way I always look at the market. I think we might see $1.30 again. I think we might see $1.20 again because there's no confirmation yet. The confirmation comes when we break through our 50% levels and our first 50% is $1.40, but then we've got the highs at very close at $1.50. So one of the confirmations I want is a break of this trend line. We've broken one of the trend lines already and we've sat on top of it. So I'm just looking at those levels. And uh, the next one is right here. So if we can break above that and sit on top, as you'll note, there's just no volume in this at the moment. So that's why I'm kind of skeptical if we have the drive, have the push to get above those levels. But at the same time, I don't want to miss out. And I've seen two signals now, one of the dominance coming down and hitting a 50% level. So I'm okay with that. The other is Cardano BTC also dropping into our buy zone. So this is one of my other buy zones from around 2000 to 3200 Satoshis. It's been on the channel for some time. And if we haven't been buying ADA all the way down, 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 but you're only buying it on based on the US dollar chart, then you've been losing in BTC. So provided you have the BTC to be able to buy Cardano now, you've made up the gains on the dollar value and you haven't lost any BTC as Cardano has been going down. The only time we're going to be losing from here on in is if this chart continues down and falls into the 2000 Satoshi zone. So from these highs, it's down about 30%. From the lows, it's up about 30%. So it's essentially break even. That's how I hedge my bets when I'm looking at uh, investing long term. It might be too much for some people, but that's how I want to play it. I want to, I'm more conservative and I want to reduce my risk. So I've got two uh, two areas now that I like. We've hit the BTC zone, one of them. Yes, it can still go further. No one is saying that this market has to hold up here, especially I don't see the volume, but it's in the zone. So let's buy some. Uh, ADA USD, it's at $1.30. We haven't broken past the 50%. Are we going to get there if Bitcoin rises? Sure. If Bitcoin falls from here, then we'll probably stay stagnant or fall a little bit because the BTC chart might continue to push up. So the BTC chart will push up. If BTC USD falls, that means the ADA USD will remain the same. All right. So that's all the little maths playing out in the background. So you won't notice it on your US dollar pairing of ADA, but you will notice it on your, your Bitcoin and the Bitcoin value of ADA will potentially go up if Bitcoin falls and the US dollar stays the same. So that's my other second level. We've got... Uh, the dominance, as I showed you here, a 50% zone. Think of this as, say, bouncing off a moving average. But we get to adjust these as we see more uh, faster highs come in. So this came in after several weeks. Two, four, six weeks, we got a top and then we got a major low. So that's our 50% level. On our ADA ETH, we've obviously been crushed because Ethereum is going gangbusters at the moment. We didn't quite make it out of this this holding pattern to the upside and we ended up breaking down. Our next low that we should hold, otherwise Cardano is going to be weak against ETH, is at around 40,000. So just a little touch under that. Uh, that. That's basically the support level at the moment for Cardano ETH. So if ETH continues to improve its strength, then ADA is probably going to lose its value against it. Main thing is we don't want to be buying the highs. That's pretty much half of the game. Don't get sucked into buying the highs on cryptocurrencies and you probably do reasonably well. A to B and B, not much is happening here. It is trending down lower highs as you can see here. There's a high, another high, another high. And then of course the trend is down. So it's not losing too much value too quickly, but uh, obviously trend is down. Ada dot has had a pretty strong correction. So we weren't buying the highs against dot either. And why do we look at these? Well, we want to compare the investments that we're making to other uh, neat, well, the other coins, other smart contracts in the same niche. And of course, Polkadot is in the same niche as Cardano being a smart contract. So it's also pulled back. And you might think, well, why the hell am I buying something when it's down? Well, 
that's how it goes. You want to buy low and sell high. I don't want to be buying these things at the top when everyone is super excited about them. There's a lot of excitement about Cardano at the moment, but at the same time, it's falling against BTC, DOT, and our last one here is Solana. So it's had a few days down against Solana as well. So if we are bullish long-term on ADA and it's going to take market share of other major smart contracts, then now would be a better time to be buying ADA than even a week ago when it was higher up. So it was higher up against DOT, higher against uh, Ethereum. Well, yeah, it was higher against Ethereum and still on a downtrend. I don't see any low forming here. And on BTC, it started a reversal. So that's a good sign as well that we can start to climb our way out of here. Nothing is guaranteed. I know I have to keep saying that, but at least we are not buying the tops. If you guys are dollar cost averaging into Cardano and you want to be earning some passive income on it, of course, go and check out the Investor Accelerator staking pool, TIA. So it's TIA. I've got a link to that in the description down below. We are doing very well. Uh, it's, it's about luck on getting the blocks come through to be able to get your rewards. And the last several blocks we've been doing extremely well. We've had 14 and a half million ADA dropped into our pool from the Cardano Foundation. And so that is really boosting up rewards. Um, go and check it out. Link is down below. I thought I'd mention that, especially if you're dollar cost averaging in as we get our, uh, our buy levels come up on ADA. So the last thing I want to have a look at at the moment is the timeframes. So the timeframes I still have are looking further towards the end of the year for a major turn. I do really want to see a lot of volume come into this market as we either break to some upsides or we break down and we see some stops being run and then the market bounce back. So we saw that back in May, big volume, and it's basically held up the market for now. And then I want to see that again just to get us pumping to the upside. So that's pretty much what I've got for you guys in this video as the update. We've hit a good point on the dominance. We've hit a little reversal point or a buy zone that I had on my chart for A to BTC. We haven't lost anything in regards to our um, Bitcoin value because basically we've been buying Bitcoin and Cardano has been uh, going down against BTC, whereas we just see that turn. It has been going down against ETH. And in terms of timeframes, you know, we see sort of six, uh, 30 weeks to 60 weeks to be some good timeframes for ADA and the market. And that brings us out into later quarter three and quarter four for a major turn. But we'll talk about that in upcoming videos as well. If you are enjoying the content and you're an ADA fan, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you can be updated with the technical analysis on Cardano. Make sure you have uh, liked the video and follow me on Instagram and on uh, Twitter for daily updates. Remember, there is a special on the Investor Accelerator. Link to that is down below, but I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.